Hello guys, welcome to today's session. Today we're gonna learn about regular expressions for from beginner to advanced levels. In this tutorial, you will learn everything you need to know about regular expressions from beginner to advanced. I will also cover the basics of regular expressions as well as more advanced topics with practical examples. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to use regular expressions to solve a variety of problems. Also, let's introduce what are regular expressions. Regular expressions are sequence of characters that define a search pattern. They are widely used to pattern, uh, pattern matching and text manipulation tasks, especially as a data scientist or data analyst. Uh, you may work on uh, large volume of data so uh, your data may need to be manipulated using regular expressions because unnecessary data may contain or unnecessary uh, expressions like uh, unnecessary uh, 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 data may be uh, included in your data set so this regular expression will help you to uh, 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 validate and manipulate your data. <coughs> so why regular expressions are useful? Because regular expressions are offer a powerful and uh, flexible way to search, validate, and manipulate uh, uh, text data. Uh, they can be applied in various programming languages, text editors, and uh, command line tools. So this regular expression can be uh, uh, also uh, uh, applicable in different fields like data validation, web scraping, data mining or text mining, log analysis, search and replace operations, and many more. Uh, from uh, we dive into the regular expression, the advanced uh, topics of regular ex expressions, let's uh, first import the libraries. So Python supports a built-in library that is called RE. So you have to import RE. This uh, RE is regular expression are uh, handled using the built-in regular expression module. So before using regular expressions, you need to import this module. This uh, module basically, uh, uh, this module uh, basically uh, provides a set of functions that allow you to uh, work with regular expression. Let's, uh, for example, if you want to just uh, match uh, patterns with uh, input string, you can use re.match match method. Uh, for this match, uh, this match, uh, so you have to pat, uh, pay, uh, pass the pattern and the string that's going to be matched and the uh, flags flags is optional the default is zero so this uh, uh, method is, is one of the regular expression module uh, which uh, 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 match the pattern only at the beginning of the string if the pattern matches it returns a, a match object otherwise it returns none uh, and the other most important is re.search method. This uh, search method just takes the pattern as an argument and the string which contains input data and flags is also uh, optional. So this uh, method is regular expression method that returns the first match found as a match object. If no match is found, it returns none. Use this function when you want to find the first occurrence of a pattern anywhere, uh, anywhere in your string. <coughs> the other is re find all. Uh, this is also another regular expression module function, which uh, uh, help us to find the overlapping occurrence of the pattern in the string, and that returns them as a list of substrings. So 
once the occurrence of the uh, string is found in the string or the pattern is found in the string, it, it gonna be returned as a list of uh, uh, strings. Okay, uh, the other most important uh, is re dot find iter. This also take the pattern as a uh, parameter or string, I mean uh, argument and uh, the string the data that gonna be uh, uh, just uh, finding the pattern in that data state and the flags is optional and the other is array.sub this is uh, uh, this function replaces all occurrence of the pattern in the string with specified replacement just replacing the, the string to with uh, replacement and string and there may be the occurrence or count the uh, occurrences and flags is optional zero so we will see each uh, practically so regular expression module in python provides this uh, very important functions uh, uh, to uh, work with regular expressions in Python and uh, they allow us to perform various operations such as searching, matching, replacing, and splitting the string is based on complex patterns. So regular expressions are very powerful and major, uh, mastering their use can greatly enhance your string manipulation capabilities. Okay, let's try to see the basics of uh, regular expression uh the first one is uh mitral mitral match so in this match the matching all literal characters directly let's let's do it first of all you have to the module Cell and uh, now let's define let's define uh, a text for example the text is uh, the cut is on the mat this is the text and uh, I also define uh, uh, the pattern that is just finding cut from the string the given string and uh, in this case, I can use find uh, uh, all method. This find uh, all method uh, just uh, find the occurrences of the pattern in the given string. Okay, so the result could be re dot find all, and I pass the pattern and uh, the text. So the result would be uh, this pattern cut. Uh, if the cut is available in the string in the given string just uh returns uh, a list of that uh, pattern uh, the given uh, string let's print result and let's see the up so this is called literal matches literally matching uh, the strings the patterns in the given string so cut is found if cut is not found you see a Let's put CA. Uh, CA is available, yes, exactly just much. For example, let's uh, uh, one, two. Literally, yeah, one, two is not literally found uh, uh, in the given string, so it will not uh, uh, return uh, that uh, found pattern because uh, that pattern exists in the given strings so this is uh, the basic uh, so everyone can understand easily uh, this string is this pattern is exist or not and uh, and uh, the, ne the next uh, topic is about meta characters and uh, escaping meta characters and escaping this is another uh, very important concept that uh, special characters in regular 
expressions that have a predefining uh, and escaping uh, them allows treating them as literal characters. To match a dot, you need to escape, uh, for example, let's say a text is here. I have a dot in my sentence. Then the pattern in this case is and result could be hurry find all pattern and the text so this uh, regular expression just uh, validates that uh, the dot is exist in the sentence or not so this uh, the backslash is called escaping character so just escaping uh, that character and matches any single character except a uh, new line. If there is a new line, uh, it could not be uh, validating that new line. Except new line, this dot uh, uh, pattern can uh, match any single character in the same sentence. See the result. So there is the, uh, a dot. Yeah, a dot. Because dot is exist here, if, if, if you avoid this, uh, it is an empty list because that uh, dot character is not exist. This is so-called meta characters and escaping. So we, we can use uh, a backslash as escaping character in the pattern. And you can validate that pattern by escaping, especially if you are not just escape uh, special characters from a given uh, string. And the other is character classes and uh, and ranges. Let's do it. In this case, uh, in the character classes and ranges, matching a specific set of characters or ranges. So example if you want to match uh vowels uh, from, from a given string let's say the text is i love apples and orange and i want to just match all the vowels from the given string and uh, just extract those vowels from a given string. I can use that character classes and ranges. Uh, character classes and ranges can be defined in the square bracket. Uh, for example, the vowels in this case, A, E, I, O, U. Okay, then I can uh, just uh, re dot find all the and the text. So all vowels can be extracted from the given string, and it just put in the list. Yeah, for example, here in the first uh, uh, search, I love. Uh, love contains two vowels, O and E. Okay, O and E are just obtained from the string. And in the second word, uh, A and E are available. So A uh, all are extracted or obtained. And in the third word, there is A as a vowel. And uh, the last word, O, A, and E. O, A, and E. So all vowels from the given string are extracted uh, and found and uh, just 
print the result as a list of uh, the characters. Okay, so this is called a character classes and ranges uh, because why 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 we call uh, this a character classes and ranges because there, here we have a given ranges. The given ranges are in the square brackets, so all the uh, given characters can be matched or found in the given string. So this is the square bracket uh, represents that the range in the regular expression uh, when we uh, when you use uh, as a pattern. So the square bracket uh, matches any character within the brackets. So in this given uh, character, all characters uh, can be matched in the given string. So this is called character classes and ranges. Okay. So I'm going to just uh, uh, go to the more advanced topics from basic to... Uh, and the next is quantifier. Quantifiers. Okay. Uh, this quantifier is uh, specifying the number of occurrences of a car or a group. Yeah, basically, these quantifiers are uh, uh, the patterns in the quantifiers are specified in the uh, curly braces. So the regular expression for let we have a given text uh, a a a a b a a b and three a b. Let's say, and the pattern is. Uh, a to four and B. So uh, this pattern, this is called a quantifier. Uh, the quantifier is basically uh, uh, put in the curly brasses. So the ranges in the upper, for example, is all uh, characters put in the uh, square brackets. So this is for uh, quantifiers. Uh, in this case, for example, the text is given and the pattern is uh, A. This represents the number of characters, the number of occurrences that the letter, the preceding letter. Uh, for example, here, uh, we need to just find match the character A repeated to two to four. Just the occurrences of uh, consecutive uh, letters. Uh, so in this case, A could be uh, repeated from two to four. four. We can just uh, find uh, uh, that characters of the given string. Let's uh, see the result. pattern and text. So uh, in this case, uh, for example, the first we have uh, 3a. So this matches because uh, we, we, it is possible from two up to four consecutive uh, uh, occurrences of the a later. And in the, in the second, ab, uh, this is not possible because the a is occurred one time and it is followed by b the last uh, represents that the occurrence of the a from two up to four which is followed by one b one b so here uh, uh, in the first one there is no b at the end of uh, the a so this is not matched the second one uh, a is one, so uh, but here we have specified in our pattern A occurred from two up to uh, four consecutive, con uh, consecutively, and the third one uh, A is possible. Yeah, it just matches from uh, because uh, A occurred two times and it is followed by B. That's matched. Uh, 
the third time, uh, I mean the last one, A occurred four times. It is uh, matched and followed by B. So the result could be A, A, B, and A, 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 B. Let's see the result. So this is so called uh, quantifier. Uh, I mean, there is that uh, okay. Yeah, there, 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 there no should be a space between uh, the birth in the quantifier. That's uh, the wrong answer. For example, if I put uh a b in the, the first one so i can uh, match because a occurred four times that is possible uh and followed by b this is so quantifier uh this pattern uh, just obtain the matched uh, uh uh data from our given strings the given pattern so uh, we can define our pattern in different ways uh, that's just uh, match the number of occurrence of uh, the uh, character in the given string using quantifier okay so the curly brass in this the curly brass and this is a quantifier so in this case it specifies that the preceding character A should occur between two and four times. For example, if I put uh, 2B here, uh, so uh, this, the first one, but uh, match it. So just obtain uh, this only, okay? Uh, and the other uh, most important topic is anchor. In this case, matching a specific position is in the input text. So the regular expression pattern. So at the beginning of uh, the pattern is matches or uh, not. So we mostly use the uh, let's uh, say a text is start with a new line start with a word this is my text okay and the pattern is let's define the pattern start Now let's uh, find the result is are you dot find all actually we we can use compile uh, method for find and we can put re dot multi line multi line because we have uh, multi line in this case uh, so. So we have two starters. In this case, this represents anchor, which just uh, find that uh, pattern uh, from the beginning of the given string. For example, in this case, if we put this anchor uh, symbol uh, in the pattern, just matching that start word, literally, literally start word is found in the beginning of the given string or not. For example, here we have two lines because I have divided using a new line, a new line. <coughs> so in the first sentence, in the first line, the uh, start is uh, found. So it just uh, obtained that uh, matched uh, pattern. Uh, again, in the second line, there is another start. That's why 
here uh, I add uh, two uh, list of two starters to start for example if I avoid this a second start so I could have one start or if I put a start at the end I could have one a start because this pattern this symbol uh, 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 specifies the beginning of the pattern in the given string always just looking at the beginning of the given string okay this is so-called uh, anchor anchor uh, regular expression so those are basic uh, concepts of uh, regular expression in python anchors quantifiers uh, character classes and ranges meta characters and descaping uh, and literal matches literally uh, matching uh, a pattern with a given string and we are, go are going to start uh, intermediate levels of regular expression concepts now start intermediate regex concepts so here uh, in this case we just uh, work on alteration Alteration is one of the intermediate uh, levels of uh, regular expression concept, uh, which matching multiple alternatives using OR operator. We can match multiple uh, patterns using OR operator, or that is so-called pipe. Uh, let's do it. Uh, for example, I have a text. I have an apple and orange, let's say. And I want to match apple and orange from the given sentence. The pattern here, I can put uh, the pattern like apple or I can use vertical bar from your keyboard. This represents or or that is called alteration that can if apple is exist or uh, orange is exist in the given string that match either apple or orange okay orange so if both is matched it just return uh, both as a list pattern text <laughs> So let's see the result. Because here in the given string, apple and orange is exist. So it is possible. For example, if I put banana. Banana. So if banana is not exist, it will not uh, return as a result because banana is not exist. So this is called alteration. So we can put uh, or or it is called pipe pipe matches either the expression before or after the pipe so this vertical uh, bar represents a pipe or or operator that could uh, uh, matches uh, the expression either uh, before or after the pipe so uh, this is called uh, alteration and let's go on the other most important topic in this regular expression tutorial is grouping and uh, capturing grouping and capturing uh, and this grouping parts of a regular expression pattern and capturing matched substrings uh, if let's say we have uh, a given string let's say a b a b a b c and a b and let's say our pattern is AB plus <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Now, uh, the regular expression, the regular expression pattern AB plus matches AB, 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 uh, or AB, uh, AB, AB. So this plus represents that matches uh, one or more occurrences of the preceding character. So the preceding characters are AB. So these uh, preceding characters are matched uh, uh, once. A B A B. So uh, we have A B and this uh, given string. Okay, this is so-called uh, grouping and uh, capturing. You can do more examples uh, in this grouping. Uh, so we can also use asterisks if uh, we put asterisks. This is an, a grouping mechanism. So we can uh, here. There is a space uh, because zero occurrence asterisk means ju just zero occurrence of uh, the group, the print character. So if there is a zero occurrence of the preceding character, it's just uh, obtained as empty uh, character. Take us. Uh, the other is back references. Let's see. Back references. This back reference is uh, just referring to the previously uh, captured pulse within the same regular expressions. <clears throat> uh, for example, uh, let's say we have a text that is 2, 2, 2, 2, and another text 2, 2, 2, 3. And uh, the pattern is our back D to back one back one okay <coughs> this is a pattern Okay, uh, it's it. <laughs> okay, in this case, here the pattern, uh, this uh, box D represents the digit. So here, the string is a digit, and this uh, I have already discussed previously, this represents uh, the number of uh, digits. So uh, the number of digits in this case is two. And after two occurrences of uh, the uh, digit, there, there could be uh, a hyphen and back uh, one references, back references that basically referring 
the previous, uh, previously uh, captured groups. So in this case, uh, let's see the result. Uh, so the result could be 2, 2, 22 only. Uh, <coughs> because it's, it's just uh, occur exactly two times. Uh, for example, in the second one, in the second group, uh, two two is not occurred two times. That's why it is just ignored. Uh, this back reference represents the occurrence of that and print once. It just prints the result once. Uh, only the previously captured group of uh, that uh, matched string. So in the first one, we could have two uh, digit, two digit. Yes, that's correct. Then after uh, occurring two digits, two consecutive digits, uh, there is a hype. Uh, yes, that matches. And in the second, uh, after hyphen, there should be two digits which uh, exactly exist in the previously uh, captured group. If that is similar with the previously captured group, that is called back references and returns the previously captured group only not uh, returning the second occurrences of that uh, captured or matched uh, a string. So uh, D represents uh, matches any digit in the given string and two in the brass represents the uh, specified the preceding expression that should occur exactly two times. The digit uh, should occur exactly two times, okay? And the hyphen matches a hyphen. Okay, that's uh, clear. And backslash one uh, ensures that the second occurrence of the same two digits. That's why uh, the second uh, one, this one, uh, could not be uh, printed because uh, the first is okay, true, but the second occurrence of the two digits are not exactly the same with the previously car group. So this is called back references back references okay <clears throat> okay so uh, this regular expression pattern uh, matches two consecutive digits followed by a hyphen and then matches the same two digit sequence again and it can uh, be used to find a repeated digit pattern separated by a hyphen Let's uh, look ahead and look behind. This is another uh, concept. Look ahead and look behind this. Okay. Uh, this uh, matching based on the presence or of certain patterns ahead or behind the current position. So the regular expression, let's let's say, the text is prefix a word prefix word prefix pattern is. Class, it's a uh, prefix. Okay, this is my pattern. Uh, this uh, backslash w represents uh, specifies the word, the word in the given string. Uh, I've told you in the previous one. For example, slash d is the uh, specifies uh, the occurrence of any digits or matches uh, any digit in the given string. This uh, also specifies uh, or matches any uh, word in the given string. Okay, uh, so W matches any word character or alphanumeric or underscore. It also include underscore. And the question mark, in this case, the question mark uh, matches zero or one occurrence of preceding character or group 
the preceding character or group. Zero or one occurrence of the preceding character or group. Uh, let's uh, see the result. The result is reads find all. <coughs> Okay, so this is look, uh, look ahead. So that is prefix. So the prefix is exactly uh, find found in the uh, setting uh, of, of this given string. So this uh, because this uh, question mark uh, specifies or matches zero or one occurrence preceding. So the preceding is pre prefix, and it represents that. Uh, matches any word or character or alphanumeric or underscore in the string uh, from this pattern. So this is called lock ahead and lock behind this. And the other is lazy matching. Those are very uh, important concept. Greedy and I mean versus lazy matching. Uh, this uh, basically controlling the matching behavior to be uh, that matches as much as possible or lazy matches as little as possible. Greedy, if it is greedy, that's uh, much as possible. And if it is lazy, that's matching as little as possible. Uh, for example, uh, let's say an example. A, 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 B, and it's pattern. Let's define the pattern R A dot. Class E. This is the pattern. So this pattern uh, basically A matches uh, <coughs> A matches the character A literal literally matches. This is literal character matching, and the dot and uh, that uh, matches one or more occurrence of any character, uh, I mean one plus, I mean dot uh, plus that uh, occurrence of uh, one or characters of any uh, uh, non greedy. If it is uh, greedy, uh, just for example, a sprint or pattern so this uh, all uh, matches because this represents uh, the occurrence of a plus represents that uh, any uh, occurrence of the preceding character uh, one or more occurrences and followed by B so in this case, if I put like a space, you see, so this is called greedy, uh, matches as much as possible, matches as much as uh, possible. And if, if uh, you want to put this as uh, lazy, you can use, uh, Question mark. For example, in this case, it just exactly matches. Exactly matches. It just that is called lazy uh, matching. Uh, so it's just a, 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 so the number of occurrence of a, okay, and followed by uh, b exactly one b, not uh, more. Than one B. If it is greedy, 
because I put a question mark here. That is called lazy matching. So this one is uh, greedy matching as much as possible. Uh, a number of B, it is possible in this case. Uh, but if I put uh, uh, this, so this is lazy matching, exactly matching that uh, uh, patterns in the given thing. So, so this is called lazy matching. Okay. Uh, the other is uh, advanced uh, regu uh, regu regular expression techniques. Uh, the advanced uh, reg x techniques. And this uh, advanced the regular expression test we are going to just uh, uh, do some uh, exercises and uh, practices uh, for example advanced character classes we can uh, perform advanced character classes so in these classes we can uh, utilize advanced character class construct for matching a specific character types uh, for example uh, let's say a text hello uh, just uh, we can use the pattern is rp l this is just matching a Unicode characters in the given string. Unicode character. If there is a Unicode characters, it just uh, match that Unicode characters. Uh, so let's do this. pattern uh body cap uh, okay yeah uh yeah uh, here actually there should be uh okay i should uh, ignore this re dot unicode so that is uh, body escape at position zero. Yeah, in this case, uh, there is no match, and uh, there is, uh, for example, word. Okay, because here I have no any Unicode characters, especially this P and L, uh, just matching uh, any special Unicode characters in the given string. So here I couldn't have any special characters like Unicode characters, and uh, I couldn't uh, just do this in this example. Okay. Uh, but I, I'll put this in the notebook. Uh, you can read the notebook. So this uh, P uh, L represents a Unicode property escape that matches any Unicode letters in the given string. Because in the given string, I have no any uh, Unicode characters. Uh, those are alphanumeric characters. Uh, the other modifiers and flags uh, we can use uh, modifiers and flags. For example. Uh, let's uh, do some example pattern matching uh, using the pattern flag uh, flag is like
okay and the pattern is r pattern i so this the flag uh, is exist in the uh, given string and uh, matching that uh, pattern because this is a uh, case insensitive uh, let's uh, find that all okay <laughs> so here it just returns uh, to pattern because pattern is exist in uh, 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 two pattern words are exist in the given string and this is called a flag uh, so if I uh, I remove this flag for example uh, okay that's just uh, uh, because it's case insensitive it is not uh, the pattern this part of the pattern matches the word pattern literally in the given string and it is case sensitive by default uh, but uh, this question mark i uh, this is a flag that modifies the behavior of the regular expression basically just to modify uh, especially the i flag is for ignore case uh, in the regular expression and when included in the pattern it makes pattern case insensitive if you uh, avoid this for example uh, just uh, doesn't matter just pr uh, print is uh, literally matching that uh, pa the string pattern but uh, question mark i uh, just specifies uh, the flag that modifies the behavior of the regular expression and especially the I flag stands for ignore case and when included in the pattern it makes the pattern case insensitive and it means that the pattern will match pattern uh, any pattern for example uh, if you put uh, in capital it doesn't matter uh, it's just pattern it just uh, match for example if you avoid uh, this in the given you just print exactly two pattern because uh, this one is uh, the other pattern is uh, in uh, capital uh, letter uh, so this is case sensitive but if you put uh, uh, this, uh, just ignoring that case insensitive uh, from uh, the given uh, pattern matching. So all uh, can be, for example, if I put A here, it doesn't matter. It's just obtained because this is very, very uh, important that uh, is called uh, modifiers and flags. So the ignore case uh, just ignores uh the stand is for ignore case and just uh, when included in the pattern it makes pattern case insensitive and uh, it just avoid uh that pattern uh case sensitive issues okay all whether you write in a small letter capital letter whether that word exactly exists in the given string it just uh, obtained that uh, uh matched word because case sensitive is uh, ignored by this uh, modifier and flag uh, uh, condition okay this is very important the other is conditional matching uh, we can also apply conditional ma matching uh, 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 to in the pattern conditions done a certain uh, criteria so the, uh, the regular expression uh, pattern uh, matches either true or false uh, expression is satisfied otherwise it matches false uh, let's say uh, we have a given a string. Uh, there are n times, and the pattern is r equation mark n. Then true or we can use pipe uh, that is or operator that is uh, for conditional uh, pattern so the pattern is conditional now we can find array dot find all the pattern from text for, 
for example, in this case, ten is uh, exist pattern uh, text invalid group reference ten at position zero. zero. Okay. Uh, Okay, uh, let's put like this. Uh, pattern true or false. Uh, and now I'm for okay, that is so there is some uh, myth here false true. Uh, so the pattern is not uh, wrong. I mean, uh, it's not correct. So that is uh, at position three. Okay, let's uh, let's let's do. Okay.
Okay, let's do some uh, practicals and demo exercises to just uh, understand uh, uh, the regular expressions. Uh, evaluate our data. Regular. Uh, let's do it. Uh, how you can uh, update email addresses using regular addresses with the format. Uh, for example, define emails. Uh, let's define emails, list of uh, emails, uh, like John so at Alice123 at at my dot org and let's add more to check which email address is validated or not based on uh, the given uh, pattern uh, let's add more support at the python lab and invalid Emir admin at com. Okay, this is list of email addresses, and let's just uh, let, let me write a regular expression to match uh, to validate the email address, uh, the given email address is valid or not uh, by writing a pattern. So, the pattern in this case, uh, for example, it is up to you actually. Uh, you can write your own. Uh, the first one, I just uh, uh, specified the word, any alphanumeric character, the preceding uh, plus uh, symbol that uh, uh, matches uh, one or more occurrence of the preceding uh, character. And then after uh, add symbol and uh, in a square bracket, we, which is uh, uh, we can specify A to Z and A to sub C, we can include underscore, can include, uh, then we can put zero plus uh, question mark backslash dot small a again. After the dot, uh, that could be also uh, the character, okay? like doc dot com dot org like that a, a to z caps a to z here there, there is no uh, underscore and we can specify the number of uh, characters after dot uh, it could be two up to uh, three and finally the, i can put uh, dollar symbol this uh, and before that, I can uh, put okay uh, the anchor tag, anchor uh, symbol. That is uh, in the beginning of uh, the email address. There should be a character. There not uh, if there is a number in the beginning of the address that is uh, wrong email address, and I can just iterate over uh, the list of emails and if re dot i can use match here uh, that specific email address is matched in the given pattern and instead of uh, find because i just pr uh, print uh, 
uh, I don't want to print the list of uh, emails as a list here. Exactly match that email is uh, based on the given uh, pattern. Uh, it just print that email is a valid email address. Else, that email is not a valid email address. Okay, let's run this code and let's see the output. Uh, yeah, for example, uh, in this case, John Doe, John underscore Doe at PythonLab.com is uh, not a valid email address. Uh, underscore uh, here, uh, not underscore. So I should uh, for example, if I, I put a uh, dot here, this sh uh, should be <coughs> valid. I mean, uh, John Doe is not, uh, yeah. Uh, if pattern, uh, for example, if I, ma I make a mistake in the pattern, uh, okay, plus add uh, A to Z. Uh, okay, class A back dot A to Z, A to Z. Okay, here. Uh, yeah, here, <coughs> here in the first, uh, in the beginning of the email address, uh, if the email includes alpha, I mean, character. Uh, with underscore that is correct uh, and after the dot after the dot uh, if that uh, contains two up to three uh, occurrence of characters that's uh, correct for example the first one uh, included dot that is not correct because uh, here I used uh, underscore instead of uh, dot I put uh, underscore here I can uh, just validate the first email address is valid and the second email address is valid but the third one is not valid because there is no uh, uh, characters after that uh, symbol like uh, support a python love.com or like that so the third one is invalid and and so on so this uh, can validate uh, the given email address is valid or, or not based on the given pattern actually it is it is up to you you can specify uh, for example, if if you have wait uh, underscore from the uh, beginning of the uh, before the at star, uh, so it is valid. Previously, it was not valid. Now it is valid. Okay. Uh, so this is one uh, example. Uh, this uh, caret caret symbol actually indicates the start of the string. So the start of the string. Uh, is a word w plus uh, is uh, the this part of the pattern matches one or more word characters letters or digits and underscores it's possible it matches the username part of the email addresses and at symbol that matches the at symbol and then uh, is cap this is the is cap that uh, exactly a single character in the uh, give that is dot okay so and so on uh, so that is a dot and uh, after the dot uh, there should be exactly two or three characters a to z this specifies a quantifier uh, okay let's uh, do more exam uh, for example extracting URL from the text uh, let's say we have a text uh, visit my website at space www.epitallab.com is uh, a given string or text and if you want to just extract URLs from this uh, kind of data you can 
define the pattern like this HTTPS, which starts in the beginning of the string, that is HTTPS. The occurrence of the HTTPS uh, actually uh, one. You can put a uh, question mark uh, and then colon and uh, devil forward slash and the square bracket you can put a word character and dot there, there could be a dot and forward slash minus and put one or more uh, the occurrence of this are one or more and we can just find re dot find all The pattern and the text. So this just extract email address. Let's see uh, if we could have more than two email. Uh, I mean website. Let's visit HTTP www python dot com. It just lists us to email address because here. Uh, this pattern uh, matches the protocol is either HTTPS or HTTP. It doesn't matter because uh, this part, especially uh, in the pattern, uh, this part uh, matches exactly uh, either HTTP or HTTPS. And S uh, question mark makes that the S is optional in the pattern. So if the URL uh, may contain HTTP or it may include uh, S and uh, in the pro protocol. So that S uh, question mark is an optional. Uh, so it will match both HTTP uh, forward slash uh, this or HTTPS uh, colon forward slash. Okay. And in the square bracket uh, back, uh, this word is a shorthand character class for word character that uh, first digits and underscores and uh, forward slash uh, basically uh, uh, forward slash includes uh, the character class includes the word uh, and there is a dot after the character class and then forward slash uh, there is a hyphen at the end we can uh, put hyphen and the plus uh, indicated that uh, the occurrence of that is one or more. So we can obtain a list of uh, URLs from the given uh, just uh, a strings or data. This is another. And let's add one more example. Parsing HTML, uh, HTML and XML tags. <coughs> For example, uh, you can write uh html like rig x tutorial this this is rig x I mean, uh, title. This is Rig X tutorial. So you may have uh, HTML tags or any XML, and you can parse that. Uh, you can use search in this case. First of all, let's define the pattern uh, like. I did. <coughs> you can use back forward right <coughs> and 
you can match this are search pattern and email if match is found then <coughs> match we can use group one <coughs> and print that match Title is title content. Else, title not found. Okay, let's do. Yeah, title uh, not found. So. Here. I should have ways. Here, I put here, the end close. Yeah, uh, the title is, this is a regular expression. And because here I should put a uh, end or closing tag, uh, so it just obtained the title of that uh, from a given HTML tag. So you can apply more uh, regular expression pattern and you can uh, to search the required uh, data or text from the given HTML document. Uh, and uh, one more example, let's extract data uh, from, uh, for example, write a regular expression pattern to extract phone numbers from the text document. Let's say we have a text, contact us at phone one, two, three, three, four, five, seven, eight, and zero and email is info at email.com so if you want to just extract the phone number and email address from the given text you can define the pattern like this our phone and put so the phone number after the phone uh, character, this, this could be a, a string, uh, I mean a digit. Uh, you can count the number of digits, for example, here, uh, three digits. So I can put E and the quantifier is three. And, and after three is hyphen. And there is another digit that is also uh, has three digits and the last digit contains four after hyphen. I can put D and put four. Okay. And a space, I can put a space and email. Uh, the email address contains a word W plus, then add symbol. And after add, there, there is also uh, W word plus. And backslash dot, there should be a dot, uh, and that after dot, that is word plus. Now I can just find that pattern, array dot find all pattern and text. Yeah, the phone numbers and email address is extracted here. Uh, so uh, do like this <clears throat> uh, and we can do more uh, data manipulation and extraction using regular expression I hope you've enjoyed the video tutorial so uh, in this uh, conclusion uh, this uh, compressive regular expression tutorial covered various topics
from basics to advanced techniques and uh, uh, I hope you learned how regra expression powers you to tackle uh, pattern matching and text manipulation tasks with uh, practical examples and exercises and uh, uh, I hope uh, you gain hands-on exper uh, experience uh, keep practicing and exploring the vast world world of regra expression for uh, endless possibilities in the text related problem solving uh, don't forget to like share subscribe thanks for watching